Hello and welcome to another Marty Matna Monday, the preliminary final edition. Um, well done, Marty. Uh, a lot of planning went into yesterday's game. Uh, you happy with the execution by the players? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the players really executed what the coaches and the game plan we sort of had. And um, you know, to their credit, Adelaide you know, had a really good first quarter. And we, you know, I think there was a period in the second quarter where Ben Anthony kicked three goals and that sort of broke the game open. But um, yeah, the team effort and the executing the game plan was you know, done to a T and the boys were well, they were really happy with it, but the coaches were extremely happy with it. We haven't really started any of the finals with a real bang. Is that going to be a focus this week? Yeah, it's actually been a focus for every week, but yeah. um, we probably just haven't been able to, I guess, execute in front of goals. Um, even on the weekend, I think we kicked one goal five at one stage, so... And the Eagles was three points. Um, South, I think they kicked the first couple of goals as well. So I feel like we've been playing some good footy in the first quarter. It's just about executing and, and making sure we put the scoreboard pressure on against them. Um, and especially this week, it's going to be really important in the grand final. Just finishing the, the good work. Yeah, just year. finishing off and making sure we kick the goals. I think we've had some easy shots we probably would have kicked. Um, but, you know, we just need to finish it. And, and it's going to be extra important this week. Yep. Uh, obviously, Kirkwood, Beard, Riley, Stevens, etc. The usual suspects were all very good on the weekend. But... It was great to see um, some of their younger players perform on the big stage and probably play their better games, uh, best games for the year, especially in particular Josh Hone, Jared Leanett, uh, who I think probably both played their best games for the year almost. And, yeah. and also it was good to see Rune Guilfoy continue his, in, his improvement as well. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, especially Josh Hone, I think he's been playing quite good for you the last two weeks um, in that you know, small forward role. and. I think he got the reward for his effort for the last month of footy on the weekend by kicking four goals. And, yeah, Jared Leonard's had a really good, consistent year. Um, and then Rune, yeah, so we sort of, I think he played one game last year and he's played every game this year, I think, except for a couple in the reserves. Um, but he's really improved and, um, you yeah, know, we sort of backed him in to, to, sit, to take that sort of defensive key role spot, I, was, I guess you'd say, being with Corey Beard going forward. So... Um, yeah, we're really pleased with the way these guys have developed and we've put a lot of, I guess, effort into them um, this year, trying to get them developed and up to speed and playing good league footy and, and the results happen on the weekend. What are the plans for training this week? Um, oh, probably trying, you know, we're going to keep it as, as, I guess, as similar as possible as we can to every other week. Um, you know, training tonight, the boys will do a recovery session. Uh, Wednesday night, we'll train at Adelaide Oval, um, which the players quite enjoy, I think, getting out. Um, uh, and Adelaide Oval was, you know, really enjoyable. It's a good surface. Um, the lights are really good there, and they get, you know, familiarised with the ground and kicking goals and that. So that's quite nice. And then Friday night will be at Unley Oval, um, which will be quite nice for, you know, if anyone of the supporters or members come down, um, there'll be a barbecue. Um, players will be available for, you know, signing, having photos with supporters and members, which would be good to see uh, a lot of people down on Friday night. Um, Selection, I guess uh, it's hard to make changes when you've just uh, had such a good game and um, won a preliminary final and got yourself into a grand final. And um, we obviously made changes this week with Henry Carey coming into the side again. I'd, I'd assume we'd be thinking that unchanged would be a great way to go into into a grand final. Yeah, we we sort of said we're going to go unchanged every week, but we've sort of made one. Um, oh, it's just one of those things. I think it just comes down to later in the week when you sort of you know, that, that feeling we'll have selection and see who gets through training and, you know, there's all those sort of things as well. But at this stage, everyone pulled up well from the game, so that's a that's a positive. Um, and like we said, we'll just see how everyone trains and um, see what happens throughout the week. And, you know, um, Wednesday night we'll have selection and we'll make a decision then and, and we'll go with it. And we sort of, we feel like the ones we've made the last few weeks have been the right one. Um, but, you know, you sort of don't know until game day. No worries. Okay, thanks, Marty. It'll be great to see uh, everybody out uh, at Adelaide Oval this Sunday at 2.40 in double blue, all uh, members and supporters uh, out there supporting the players. It's become a bit of a second home. It's our fourth week, fourth week in a row at Adelaide Oval, so the players know what to expect, and um, we're very hopeful of the right result at the end of it. And as I said, we'd really love to see as many people out there supporting the players as possible.